Dopamine is the pleasure and feel good part of our brain. You know, when you open your phone, you start scrolling on like Instagram or you do something really difficult and you start feeling super good. That is dopamine being released from your brain. Editor Nazar over here. I just realized that there's something in my tooth and I am so pissed. I am never going to eat something before a recording ever again. Oh my God, I'm actually so pissed. But um, enjoy it. Make fun of me. I don't care. But um yeah, man, uh, whatever. Just enjoy the video. Just know that um, I'm never going to eat before recording again. Now back to the video. Dopamine detox, on the other hand, is the fasting and taking a break from these good pleasures for the betterment of your life. Now, you may be asking, why do we want to take a break from dopamine? Doesn't it make us feel good? And you see what scientists have found is once your dopamine goes up, it has to come down. But the thing is, once it comes down, it doesn't just go back to its baseline. It goes further down below. So for example, let's say you're playing a ton of video games, you know, the dopamine goes way, way up. And then when you're done playing video games, it goes down, but it doesn't go back to your baseline. It goes under. That is why you feel a little bit down or a little bit sad after doing something way, way too stimulating. And the thing about dopamine and enjoyment is that your baseline of enjoyment goes up. An awesome example of this would be video games again. You know, the first time you played that video game must have felt amazing. After a hundredth or two hundredth time, the feeling just isn't the same. So maybe asking like, okay, but how does this dopamine thing relate to coding, Nazar? Essentially, when we are too overstimulated by outside enjoyments of life, we can't focus on the difficult things. When we're playing too much video games or going on our phones too much, coding and doing difficult things just isn't as enjoyable. And I feel like many coders go through this, but has never really been talked about. You know, we're told to code, we're told to pursue coding, but we don't really enjoy it, although we're trying to. So how dopamine detox relates to this coding journey is that we should try to eliminate as many of the bad dopamine habits and replacement of good dopamine that will keep us on track for our coding journey. And what I didn't tell you about dopamine is that the source matters. There are two sides to dopamine. There is instant gratification and delayed gratification. Instant gratification is like the video games, the phone, the junk food that is instantly enjoyable, instantly gratifying, but will make you feel worse in the long term. And then there is delayed gratification. This often includes an obstacle, like maybe working out to see a good body or learning to code to make more money. While you are suffering in the short term, you are seeing the benefits in the long term. And what's interesting about dopamine is that if you suffer in the pursuit of something, your baseline happiness actually goes down. AKA it's easier for you to get happy because you were suffering and you're in a state of suffering. So an inverse happens. This is so true, right? Like in the gym, for example, sometimes I really hate going to the gym. It's like really difficult and I suffer a lot because it hurts my muscles. But after the fact, I feel so freaking great. And maybe you've related to this. Maybe you had to study or you had to learn a specific coding concept that you just hated. But after the fact, you were super grateful. You were super, super happy that you did it. It's because you went through that suffering and you got a little hit of dopamine, but not just any hit of dopamine, a good hit of dopamine that is long lasting and that's truly good for you. And again, how this relates to coding is that by detoxing my life, by removing the bad habits and every day trying to eliminate more and more, I'm able to focus on coding full time. I'm able to enjoy coding and I'm able to do much more programming and learn more and make more money. You see, for the most part, coding is really easy. It's just the outside things that are holding us back from from seeing results, things like distractions, bad habits, like going on our phones or feeling distracted while coding. And if you play video games all the time, it's obvious that you are going to hate coding because video games is so freaking stimulating. And what I've done to go on a dopamine detox is a couple of things. The first thing I did to start my dopamine detox is eliminate the bad habits as much as possible. Now, I don't know what you're going through, but it could be your phone, video games, or it could be some dirty habits. You know what I'm talking about? Just find out what you are doing too much of and what you are overstimulated by and try your best to reduce or eliminate it completely. This is going to be the hardest part of your application process, but again, you will see the greatest results in the long term. The next aspect of our dopamine detox is to just be bored and to think. You will have a ton of extra time now that you're on a dopamine detox. We go on our phones like five hours a day. Imagine if you reduce that to one or two hours, you will have so much time to just be bored. And you know, we live in a society where that's not fine. We are supposed to be bored. We are supposed to think that's where great ideas come from. And that's where we are truly 
truly happy. And the final aspect of our coding dopamine detox is to start coding. Now that you've eliminated all the bad habits, you will solely focus on coding. And what you'll find is that although it's difficult at first and you want to check your phone and you want to, you know, play video games, you will find coding so freaking enjoyable. I read a ton of books because I love it. I code because I love it. Although it is difficult and you know, like let's say recording this video, it's quite difficult and I don't really want to do it, but I know that the reward at the end is a good feeling and one that will be long lasting. And by eliminating these awful dopamine things that don't really provide us value, we can do the extremely hard work. By delaying our gratifications, we're giving our future self a gift of happiness. Instead of stealing that happiness by going on our phones, playing video games and making us feel good, delay it. Suffer now so you can enjoy later. And by, and by simply eliminating the bad habits in favor of good ones, you are rewarding your future self greatly. I am grateful for everything my younger self has done up until this point, from the gym to just suffering, learning code, just eating shit for so long for this goal to happen. And it all came because I opted in for the good habits rather than the bad. And hopefully you can come along for the journey because this is an amazing, amazing feeling. So again, eliminate the bad habits, delay your gratification, and you will want to code you will love coding because because it is truly enjoyable and if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching i'll leave that in the description below and happy coding and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye